Now, this story right here, I just recently got made aware of, and I didn't know anything about it. I typed this person's name in so many different ways to the point where I had to type in Pete Spencer immigrant in order to find a picture of him. And this story right here is a reminiscent of a story that I did last year. Like it literally plays almost exact out the exact same way, but the circumstances are different. So this guy's name is Pete Spencer. He, uh, he was an immigrant they, because they made sure to say that he was an immigrant who basically his death, like people are calling it a modern day lynching because he went out and he was the only black person in the group. I think of five white people. He was the only black person and he ended up being shot, uh, dead. And I believe he got shot in the back. So to me, it sounds like he was probably running away from something. Now, if y'all remember, there was a story that I did last year that came out of South Carolina where you had this black, another black male who was the only black male there in a sea of white people. They went out on a boat and all of them came back except him. All the people on that boat who were there with him gave the police multiple stories that none of them added up. None of them lined up with each other. They never came with the same story. They all had different stories, but the police did not investigate it. They just basically ruled his death as a drowning. Again, a black man in a body of water, but that was more than just a drowning. I believe that they took him out and then threw his body in the water. Like, come on now, different stories. He's the only black man there. They all come back and they try to rule it as a drowning. And I think they tried to say it was an accidental drowning, which is an even bigger insult. So now you have this situation right here. To the black people out there, I'm going to need y'all to start learning how to read the room. Seriously. Like, like seriously. Start learning how to read the room. They said this guy was shot dead while on a hunting trip. I wonder what they were hunting for because apparently it wasn't no deer. If you know what I mean. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article that's coming from The Sun. It was posted December 29th, to, excuse me, 2021. Pete Spencer, age 29, was reportedly shot at at least nine times earlier this month as the men with him claimed they acted in self-defense. Keep in mind he was the only black man there. He had been dropped off to a cabin in Venango County, Pennsylvania, in the afternoon of December 11th by his pregnant fiance Car Carmela King who said she received a text shortly afterward to say he was staying the night at 2 30 a.m. on December 12th police were called to the cabin at Carl's Road and found Peter dead at the scene a 25 year old man was taken into custody but Pennsylvania State Police provided no further details when contacted by the U.S. Sun multiple guns were also reportedly found at the scene but no charges have been filed we are talking six bullets into the chest two into the buttocks and one we have a different opinion either through the mouth or from the neck of the mouth this was an execution i don't care the self-defense no i'm not buying it i am not buying that tim stevens ceo of the black political empowerment project alleged to wtae peter who was originally from jamaica had reportedly been contacted by a man he used to work with on Snapchat about the hunting trip. The man allegedly brought along his own friends as well, two GoFundMe pages set up by the family set. This time, he was taken directly into the woods and not this person's mother home. To the fiance, she didn't totally feel comfortable with that, Stephen said at, the, at Peter's arrival at the cabin. Peter's brother, Tahila, uh, Tah Tahila I'm probably mispronouncing his name. Spencer claimed on a fundraising page that the 29 year old was murdered in cold blood. This is a hate crime. And he made sure to put hate crime in all caps. Peter was murdered. And he put murder in all caps in Rockland Township, Pennsylvania, in a backwater rural town where he was completely vulnerable and cut off from everything and every one. He was slaughtered and killed in what is considered an act of a modern day lynching. And he put modern day lynching in all caps caps he's putting all the right words in all caps by the way because they want to make sure that you are seeing or hearing him peter's fiance has established a separate campaign page for legal fees as the family says it is fighting to receive justice for the murder he was invited on a camping trip by a friend she wrote this invitation ultimately resulted in peter being shot multiple times while in the presence of five white men 
He was the only black individual at the campsite and is being portrayed as the aggressor. So you mean to tell me that they needed defense from one black man, five white men who had all these guns needed help from one black man. So again, the big black boogeyman narrative. And I saw a full body picture of, um, of this guy. It's no way. It is no way. This guy didn't even have a gun. They had all the guns. Self defense. That's their go to. Cause you know, every, you know, with Kyle Rittenhouse getting off and whatnot, self defense. They oh, they gonna play that one up. They gonna play that self defense narrative up all the way. They punching it all the way up. King also claimed that the Franklin State Troopers will not give Peter's family nor myself any information regarding this incident. We have been turned away several times while trying to reach out for information regarding what happened. On behalf of the Spencer family, along with his unborn child, damn, that's crazy, unborn child, so his fiance was pregnant, so that means that child is never going to know their dad. We ask the public to help support by bringing recognition and justice to this case, she added. Any contribution will be applied to solving the murder of a man. The Black Political Empowerment Project has called for answers as to why no charges have been filed. We demand the immediate investigation of this murder by the Venango County District Attorney, the U.S. Attorney General, and the PA State Attorney General. It is said in a statement. CEO Stevens has also blasted the alleged claim that the men were acting in self-defense, which we think is a defenseless, de defenseless defense, an unexplainable defense. We can't help but wonder if there was some racial animosity and if this possibly could be a hate crime. This is so serious and people need to know that they can't do this in Pennsylvania or hopefully anywhere in the nation. Unfortunately, they do, though, and get away with it. The Pennsylvania State Police is investigating the case. So far, only an initial report has been released. This report did not include any details on the suspect or the motive. See, they protecting them. They're protecting them. And I just did the video about Lawrence Smith Fields. They're protecting him, too. But this is the this is the state that we're living in. And unfortunately, while this is a sad case, this is a very sad story. You have too many black people, whether they are American born or foreign born, who still don't know how dub S works. And like I said in the beginning, you have to read the room. There is no way as a black man, as a black individual, that I will be going out to the woods with nothing but white people. This story also reminds me of Tamala Horsford. Remember, she was the black woman who I think was a teacher who went to that slumber party or that sleepover. And she was the only black woman there. And then they found her dead on the balcony or over the balcony or on the ground from the balcony. And they tried to claim that, you know, it wasn't murder. That she had a couple of drinks and she just threw herself over. Keep in mind, this woman was married with children. And you didn't mean to tell me she will commit suicide at a sleepover and she's the only one dead and they want to act like the people that was there did not know. I'm telling you, black people, you have to read the room and it's not hard to read it. And all those situations, including this one, what was the common denominator? One black person versus a C of PC equals death. Tamala Horsford, the guy in South Carolina, and now this guy right here. I don't know what it's going to take. It's like it's only so much you can only so much warning that you can give when it comes to stories such as this. After that, people are just being willful, willfully ignorant. And that's not me throwing jabs at this man in death. But this is could be anybody. You have to be aware of your surroundings and you have to read the room because stuff is happening too fast. You have to understand the climate that you are in. You do. Now, I'm glad that his family is addressing this as it should be, that this is a modern day lynching and should be seen as a hate crime, because in my opinion, that's exactly what it is. Now you have to prove it. And you already know they don't want to do that. Look at how many black people we found lynched. I mean, actually lynched, like hanging. And then all of a sudden they say, oh, it was a suicide. Because they don't want to investigate it. They're going to come up with some BS behind this. I already know. Something just tell me that they will. They said they only got one suspect in custody. One out of five. 
one out of five. They all up, went up there with guns. He didn't have a gun. They claim it was self-defense. Miss me with that. I do, however, will offer my condolences to this man and his family and his fiance. And this is, I think the saddest part is the fact that his fiance is pregnant and he's not going to be able to know his child. His child is not going to know their dad. And when they do find out about their dad, it's going to be because he was murdered. Like what a way to learn about your dad. That's crazy.